And aside from this third indictment, Donald Trump also faces a criminal case in New York over alleged hush money payments of porn star Stormy Daniels. He also faces a federal case over accusations that he illegally hoarded classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago home. We want to bring in Voice of America Chief National Correspondent Steve Herman. Steve, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Yeah, so we're looking at a number of criminal and civil cases against the former president. But if anything, it all seems to ramp up his rhetoric for 2024. So how do you think these cases will play out? Will it hurt Trump or will it end up rallying his base? Well, so far, it seems each time Trump has been indicted, his poll numbers have gone up with Republicans. So, yes, there is evidence that it does rally the base. Uh, however, assuming uh, Trump wins the party nomination, and with 78 felony counts in all now, and uh, his likely only hope of uh, exoneration uh, being having control of the Justice Department again, or the ability to pardon himself, those facts may motivate Democrats and independents who aren't all that enthusiastic about Joe Biden to vote for uh, the incumbent uh, because they don't want, uh, in their view, uh, the former president to escape justice. Yeah, and Steve, I want to follow up on that. You know, a lot of his GOP opponents are mostly they're staying quiet about these indictments with the recent exception of Nikki Haley. So while there is a degree that Trump can capitalize on these cases during the primary, if he does end up winning the primary, how does he win over moderates or skeptical Republicans and independents? Well, I think for the uh, GOP opponents, this is a prudent survival instinct for most of them. Some are hoping to be his running mate. Perhaps some want to be in the cabinet. Uh, some are auditioning uh, with Trump's base for 2028. Uh, you talked about Nikki Haley, and it's really only uh, Chris Christie and Will Hurd who've been going after Trump uh, head on. And then there's uh, Mike Pence, of course, uh, who uh, is not looking to be his running mate again, uh, who's saying that ultimately his loyalty was the Constitution and not to Trump. His campaign, by the way, is now selling T-shirts and ball caps reading too honest words attributed to Trump uh, about Pence and his unwillingness uh, to do, do the former president's uh, bidding on January 6th, 2021. But uh, Trump uh, probably, his numbers are pretty set. Uh, and really, we're going to see in the swing states, it's going to be those critical uh, independent voters you mentioned who really may determine the outcome of the 2024 election if it is a Biden-Trump rematch. All right, we'll have to see all how it all unfolds. Voice of America Chief National Correspondent Steve Herman, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.